Although it's possible for you to enter all your data manually in Google Sheets or another spreadsheet, and again, there may be situations where you need to do that, life is so much easier if you can simply import the data and dump it in there and get going. Now what I want to show you is slightly different from importing a file into Google Drive, the place that stores files. So for instance, you can take an Excel file, drag it into Google Drive, and it can store it in either the native Excel format or convert it to a Google Sheets document. I actually want to show you how to import something straight into a sheet in an existing Google Sheet. And to do this, we're simply going to go up to File, and then come down here to Import. And when you do that, it's going to ask you to import something. I'm going to go to Upload, and select a file from my computer. Now, actually, let me show you what I have here. I have three files here that are identical except for their format. They're all called import. And they're just data files that have an ID number, a date, a response ID, five rating scale questions, and a zip code. It's, it, this is made up data. This is in Excel as an XLSX spreadsheet. This over here is the same data in a CSV or comma separated value spreadsheet. And this one in the middle here is a a uh, text document, but they're still separated by tabs. And so it's identical information in all of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to Google Sheets. And I'm going to select one of these files. I'm just going to take the import.csv. So I'm going to hit open. And then it's going to bring up a little dialogue box and ask me some questions about what I want to do. Do I want to create a totally new spreadsheet? No, I don't even want to insert a new sheet. I want to replace the current sheet. So it's the sheet that I already have the information on, put it there. And if I want to tell it what the separator is, a tab comma or whatever, but it can detect it automatically. And I'm using a uh, comma separated values. So it's, it's easy to deal with. And then convert text to numbers and dates. Yes. And I hit import. It takes just a second. And here it is. It's in my new sheet. And so I've got my data, all the rows and the columns are intact. If I want to make my life a little easier, I'll freeze the top row. And maybe I will come here, maybe I'll select the whole thing and make it all flush, right? Except for these two, which I'll put then back to flush left. And my data sets ready to go. And now I can start analyzing. So importing directly into an existing Google Sheet, very quick and easy way to get up and running with Google Sheets.